So now in this video I thought we would just take a quick look at a common stepping motor there and a controller. I'm just starting to experiment with it and I thought this would be a good demonstration to do. So first off you can tell which button I'm pressing by which LED lights up over there as you can see. And the order that we hit these uh, buttons will determine the direction that the stepper motor spins. But you can see with each press it is very slow. So one thing I noticed is that by uh, alternating these two really quickly, we can get it to spin more quickly in the clockwise direction there. Whereas if we alternate uh, these two buttons uh, really quickly right there and we don't have to be perfect, you can see that it uh, more quickly turns in the other direction. Working your way from top to bottom slowly turns it clockwise. And here we zoom in so that you can see it a little bit better. Working your way from the bottom up turns it counterclockwise very slowly. And again, a closer view. The stepper motor simply plugs into the controller board. We got uh, four pins here with wires coming to each of the switch. As you can see there, they are uh, color coded in a way. So I removed the uh, other jumpers, but you can see we got the uh, black one there. It's still plugged into the top pin. The other end, the uh, male end, comes over to the bottom of the push button switch. On the uh, top there, we got a resistor to uh, five volts. So we give a five volt signal when I press the button. You use the same connectors to apply power. I just plugged it in the breadboard. We got the uh, female end of these jumpers going to uh, the pins there. And uh, they didn't really want to come out. There you can see the pins and uh, the male over there. We have uh, this little jumper there connecting two wires and uh, it's plugged in there pretty well. If you pull that out that disconnects the positive supply it effectively turns the board off. So it says uh, 5 to 12 volts but this particular stepper motor is only rated for 5 volts I believe. And here you can see the uh, part number there and the voltage. We have an alligator clip that I clipped here just to make it easier to see it moving right there. This does rotate uh, 360 degrees. So in any case, this was just a quick introduction. There's a lot better uh, videos for using these. Uh, usually you use a microcontroller or something to uh, give the pulses, but I thought the push button switch would help uh, demonstrate how it works, make it easier to understand. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.